Good morning. Welcome to this little practice to just wake up your spine in the morning. So just find yourself in a comfortable seated position. The legs can be a little bit further out in front or closer towards you. One ankle gently crossed over the other in Sukhasana, simple seat. If your sitting bones ground down, you may need to shift from side to side a little bit just to feel them evenly balanced onto the ground. Draw your shoulders up towards your ears. Just squeezing the shoulders towards your ears, releasing the tension at the side of the neck and then feel the shoulder blades gently slide down onto the back a little bit further. Feel the back of the neck lengthen, crown of the head reaches upwards. Allow there to be a softness through the elbows. Closing the eyes for just a few moments, just allow yourself to arrive. Noticing how the body is, how the mind is in this moment. Just starting to become an observer of your experience here. Watching the breath without trying to control it. Allow the breath to be full, deep, and natural throughout your practice. Watching the breath as well as an indicator. Sometimes you may need to take a moment just to reconnect with the breath throughout the practice. Using it as a guide. Remembering that this is your practice, doing what feels right and appropriate for you in each moment is the best practice. I'll offer some modifications, different options. Gently okay. start to open the eyes. Take the backs of the hands onto the knees. And then roll the shoulders in as you take the backs of the hands together, draw the thumbs in the direction of the belly button, extending the arms forward, opening the arms out to the side, broadening the collarbones. Roll the shoulders in, take the backs of the hands together, thumbs come in the direction of your throat this time as you extend the arms all the way up, lengthening through the whole body. The hands down and forward, roll the shoulders in. So the backs of the hands are gently stretching, shoulders move forward and down, turn the palms to face up, and then roll the shoulders in again, palm, backs of hands to come together, thumbs come in the direction of your belly button as you expand the arms out in front. We'll do that one more time. Roll the shoulders in, thumbs come in the direction of your belly button, extend the arms out. Okay, try to incorporate the spine a little bit now. So as you roll the shoulders forward, come forward with the spine. Uh, thumbs in the direction of your belly button, expand the chest forward so you come into a little back bend. Roll the shoulders forward, backs of hands together, arms come forward, just warming up through the spine. Roll the shoulders forward, chest draws forward. Do a few more rounds just like that. Rounding and bending the spine. This time as the palms come, backs of the hands come together, extend the arms all the way up, lengthening upwards. Allow your right arm to drop towards the side, come onto your fingertips and then extend up and over a little side bend over to that right hand side can bend into the right elbow ever so slightly, but keep grounding through the left hip so you feel the stretch of the side body. See if you can rotate the chest slightly upwards, maybe look under your left armpit. Take a couple breaths here. Inhale, reach up, lengthen through both arms, reaching tall to lengthen out through the spine. Allow your left arm to reach all the way down, come onto your fingertips. Lift through the side ribs, maybe bend the elbow, come a little bit deeper, but don't allow that right hip to lift. Rotate the chest slightly open, maybe looking under the right armpit. Okay. 
Inhale, come back up through to center, reach up through both arms, reaching tall to lengthen out the spine. Lower the hands in front of the chest. Okay. We're going to roll over onto our hands and knees now. Place the hands directly under your shoulders or a little bit out in front if that feels more comfortable for your wrists. Press down into each finger pad, really feel them connect down. Feel the knuckles connect down to the earth as well. And then slightly round the arms in so the elbow the arms of the elbow arm the arms of the the eyes of the elbow are slightly pointing forward sorry lengthen the tailbone towards uh, the sitting bones towards the back wall mid ribs draw up and in reach the crown of the head forward okay from here extend back through your right leg just take the toes onto the ground press back through the heel and then lift your right foot away from the ground, hovering the toes away from the ground. On an exhale, bend your right knee, take it to the outside of your right elbow. Try not to move the rest of the body and then extend it all the way back. Take the right knee to the outside of the right elbow and then extend it all the way back. One last one, just like that. Take the right knee to the outside of the right elbow and all the way back. Press through the heel, toes point down, reach forward through the crown of the head, and then extend forward through your left fingertips, reaching forward through that front middle finger. See if you can spread the toes of your right foot so you feel a little breeze in between each toe. Take a couple breaths here, keep the stability. Try to keep your hips nice and level. And then gently lower the hand, lower the knee, Take the big toes to touch, sink the hips back to the heels. Take a little breath here, resting the forehead maybe all the way to the ground in Balasana, Child's Pose. Breathe into the belly. Inhale, come all the way back up through to your tabletop position. Extend back through your left toes, pressing through the heels so you get the stretch through the calf muscle maybe a little bit into the hamstring, and then float that foot away from the ground, pressing through the heel. Take a moment here, reaching through the crown of the head, drawing midribs up and in, and then as you exhale, bend the knee, take it to the outside of that left elbow, and extend it all the way back. Take the knee to the outside of that left elbow, and extend it all the way back. Last one, take the knee to the outside of the elbow, and extend it all the way back. Keep it lifted, hips level, extending forward through right hand, reaching through the fingertips, press through the heels, spread the toes of your left foot. Couple breaths here, just feel the warmth building in the body. Gently lower the hand, lower the knee, Take the big toes to touch. Maybe you take your knees as wide as the mat or they're narrower, just whatever feels best in your body. And then sink the hips back to your heels, child's pose, balasana. Inhale, make your way all the way back up to you kneeling. Bring the knees back to be under the hips. Spread the hands wide. Keep a bend in the knees as you hover the knees about an inch away from the ground. Keep that bend as you send the hips back into a bent knee downward facing dog. Press the ground forward and away through the hands and then start to pedal out through the backs of the legs. So lifting one heel and then the other. Your feet should be about hip distance apart. This is like a fist or two fists in between them. So just make that little measurement for yourself. And then take your gaze to look forward. Start to walk your feet all the way to the top of the mat. Okay, bend the knees as much as you need to do so here to get your chest closer to your thighs. Your forehead moves closer to the shins. Take a breath in. Take the palms onto the shins. Reach forward through the crown of the head. Relax the shoulders onto the spine. Try to get a flat back as much as possible. And then exhale, bend the knees generously, take the chest onto the thighs, forehead towards the shins. Keep your right fingertips on the ground as you start to bend into your left knee, stretching out through the right leg. Take a couple breaths here through the back of that 
hamstring, calf muscle. And then bend into your right knee as you start to straighten out through the left. Just as much as feels comfortable. And bend both knees. Press the hips forward so you feel your core engaged. And then we're going to slowly unfurl the spine. So come up really slow. Allow the hands to be very heavy. So you're like, like a rag doll lifting yourself all the way up. Keep pressing the hips forward to get that engagement through the core. Slowly, slowly, slowly up through to standing. Draw the shoulders up towards the ears when you arrive. And then reset them down the back. Bring the backs of the hands together. Thumbs come towards the navel and then extend the arms out in front. You can do that again. Backs of the hands together. Thumbs towards the navel. Extend the arms out in front. Backs of hands together. Thumbs towards the navel and extend them out in front. Okay, bring the big toes to touch. Heels slightly apart or have the feet about hip distance apart. Work your way to the top of your back. Nice. Okay, we'll do that again. Backs of hands together. Thumbs to the navel. Extend the arms out. This time, step your left foot back. Keep the movement of the arms going. Backs of hands together, thumbs to the navel. And then incorporate the spinal movement. So bringing the spine forward, rounding in forward, and then drawing the chest forward and through. Backs of hands together, round the spine. Hands come forward and through. Backs of hands together, rounding through the spine. And forward and through. Nice. This time, extend the arms all the way up. So you're in a high lunge position. Sink a little bit deeper here. Nice. Bend into your left knee, almost as though you're going to tip it off the ground. And then press back through that heel so you feel this engagement through the front of that thigh. Allow that back heel to drop to the ground and then open the arms out really slowly as though you're pulling open a bow and arrow. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Tailbone lengthening. Front knee is stacking over your second toe. So if you look down, you just see your big toe. Sink into it a little bit deeper. Take the palms back to touch. And we'll do that one more time, the opening out. And then extending open, reaching through the arms. So you find that softness through the arms, looking forward over your front middle finger. Nice. Okay, extend forward through your front arm so you find space. Keep a sense of lift into the side body as you take your right elbow just above the right knee. Reach down and forward through that top arm so you're almost like sweeping the ground, reaching forward and then up and over. Press your right hip forward so you're opening out through the pelvis. There's barely any weight in this bottom arm so you could almost hover it there. Keep pressing into the back edge of your back foot and then maybe extend forward. This is just an option through your right arm. Finding Strength, stability through the legs, and softness and lift through the upper body. Begin to pivot the back toes to face forward. Keep reaching through the arms so you're lengthening through the spine. Lower both hands down, frame the front foot, and then step forward with your left. Take a breath in, lengthen the spine. Maybe hands come onto your shins, relax shoulders. Exhale, forward fold. Catch hold of opposite elbows with opposite Hands gently start to sway. Relax the head completely. And then gently release the hands down. Press the hips forward, slowly uncurl the spine up through to standing. This time, take the arms around behind you. Screw the shoulder blades together, draw them down and away. Press the hips forward, lift the chest, ribs, maybe the gaze lifts towards the ceiling for a little back bend. And then gently release. Take the backs of the hands together, reach the arms out in front, backs of the arms together, reach the arms out in front. Step the right foot back, keep the arm movement going. Rounding the spine, drawing the chest forward and through. Rounding the spine, drawing the chest forward and through. And 
then bring the arms all the way up so you're in that lunge position. Take that bend into your right knee, almost to touch the ground, and then press back through the heel. Feel the activation through the front of your right thigh. A little stretch into the hip flexors. Keep reaching through the arms. Spine lengthening by lifting. And then dropping the back heel down, lower the palms in front of the chest, and then you're opening out into that warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Shoulders stack over hips, tailbone lengthening, front knee stacking over second toe. Look over that front middle finger, and again, bring the palms to touch, so you can find that softness opening out into warrior two. Maybe sink a little deeper into your front knee, front leg, back heel presses into the ground, back edge of your back foot presses into the ground. Reach slightly forward, taking that left elbow just above the left knee, reaching down and forward through the top arm. Keep pressing into the back edge of your back foot so you find this extension through the right side body this time. Make sure you're not collapsing into your left hip, using the muscles to lift you up out of it. Okay, stay or option to extend the arms forward. Breathing. And then pivoting on the back toe, your elbow could be down as well. Then reach both arms forward as in your lunge position. Lower both hands all the way to the ground and then step your right foot forward. Take a breath in to lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold the body forward. This time wrap the arms around the backs of your calf muscles like you're trying to hide the arms behind the calves. Press into the hands, the backs of the legs with the hands, as you draw your chest a little bit closer to your thighs, forehead to shins. Couple breaths here as you find a little bit more space, maybe through the backs of the legs. And then gently release. Lower the hands all the way down. Step your right foot back. Step your left foot back. Keep the knees lifted away from the ground for a plank. Reach the crown of the head forward. Back of the neck is long. Hold here. Feel as though you're lifting your lower body away from the ground. You keep the spine in that nice neutral position. So you have strength through the lower body and the upper body. Breathing. Gently lower the knees all the way down. Lower the chest, bend the elbows, bum is slightly lifted, and then slide the body forward into a sphinx pose. Bring the forearms out in front. Elbows more or less under the shoulders, hands about shoulder distance apart. Feel as though you're drawing the ground towards you with the arms as you press the hips forward and down into the earth. Back of the neck is long, chin is slightly in. Feel the chest pulling forward. Feel the hips pressing forward. Relax the legs as though the baby toe is rolling out towards the floor, creating space for the lower back. Couple breaths here. And then option to press into the ground with the elbows away from the ground for a deeper back bend. But if that doesn't feel good, stay with the first variation. And then gently release. Walk the hands back under your shoulders. Roll the shoulders forward so you're rounding the upper back space. Press into the ground so you lift back to kneeling and then sink the hips back to the heels. Okay, move this slightly. Okay, from here, tuck your toes under. Sit up nice and tall. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Take the fingertips to touch. Stretching into the plantar fascial muscle at the back of the foot, which we don't get the chance to stretch out too much. Our feet are ten, tend to be stuck in shoes all day. So it's one of the nicest things you can do to take off your shoes and your socks and walk around your house or into your garden even better. And then do this little stretch for them.
feel like it gets a little bit sore, might be quite uncomfortable. And then gently release. Okay, sometimes a little discomfort is good. <laughs> Tap out the feet just to release any tension. And then sit yourself over onto one hip or the other as you extend the legs out in front. Okay, take a generous bend into your knees. Take the chest onto your thighs. Catch hold of the outer edges of your feet. Feel length through the spine as though you're drawing forward and through from your belly button. And then start to inch your heels forward. Just come into the place that feels comfortable for you. We're looking for length through the spine. So not too worried about the hamstrings. If they're feeling a little bit tight, always keep the bend in the knees. Allow your forehead to soften in the direction of your shins, just wherever you come to. And you'll find that over time, you'll come a little bit deeper and deeper and deeper, but just coming to the place that feels good for you. I was running yesterday, so I feel quite tight through the backs of the hamstrings, so I'm going to take my time with this this morning. A couple deep breaths into the belly. And then gently release the hands. Lift the back of the neck towards the ceiling first. So you're slightly uncurling the spine and coming all the way up to upright. Okay, take the soles of the feet together. Sit up nice and tall. Allow the knees to soften in the direction of the ground without forcing them. Feel as though you're almost trying to draw the head of the thigh bone into your hip socket. Sit up nice and tall, lengthening through the spine, crown of the head, lifting. So it's more about length through the spine than coming forward opening out through the inner thigh muscles. Okay, gently gather the knees together. Extend your uh, left leg forward. Wrap the arms around the shin. I'm going to mirror you, relax the shoulders. And then we're going to twist over to the right hand side. So feel this movement initiate from your belly first. The belly moves, then the ribs, then the chest, then the shoulders. And then you have a couple options. You can either just wrap your uh, left arm around the right knee, keep pressing down and lifting from the lower back, sitting bones pressed down. You can also take your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, but if you feel as though the spine has to round to get that action, stay upright instead. You can be on the fingertips of the hand behind you just to get that sense of lift as you twist. A couple deep breaths into the belly. And can be down or up. And the chin is more or less above the sternum. See if you can continue to draw your right shoulder back a little bit more as you press your left shoulder forward. And then we come out of it the same way we came in. Belly, ribs, chest, shoulders. Swap the legs out. Try not to use the hands. So again, feel that movement initiate belly ribs, chest, wrap the arm around, or whatever variation you did on the other side. Stay quite alert through your opposite foot as well. Fingertips around behind you. Press down into the ground as you lift, and continue to twist as you breathe. Drawing that left shoulder back as you press the right shoulder forward. Notice where you feel the twist in your body. Where are those areas of stickiness, tension? See if you can breathe a little bit of space into those places. And then gently start to twist belly, ribs, chest, shoulders, back through to center. Extend both legs away. Reach the arms forward. Make sure there's enough mat behind you. We're going to come down towards the ground really slowly. Slow, slow, slow. And then see if you can lift back up, nice and slow, same way you went down. Okay, and again, slow rounding the spine to lower. And slow lift to come all the way back. One more just like that, slow lowering. And slow lift. Okay, lower all the way down this time.
Draw your right leg in towards you. Wrap the arms around the shin. Draw it in as close towards you as you can. Stay active through the left leg and then extend up through that right leg, catching hold of the back of your thigh. Press up through the heel, flex the toes towards you, relax the shoulders. And then reach the arms forward, palms facing towards one another. See if you can lift the left foot away from the ground. You can stay here or maybe lift the head and shoulders. Holding. Chin in, neck is long. And then gently release, hug the right knee back in. Direct your right knee over towards the left hand side. So you come into a little supine twist, extending your right arm out. Ooh, got a little click in my back. And then gently release here. Take a few breaths into the belly. gently tip back through to center and we'll do the same on the other side hug the left knee in towards you give a little hug flex through your right toes just creating a little space and then extend up through left leg again flex the toes towards you press the heel upwards like you're trying to reach the ceiling with your heel relax the shoulders breathe into the back of the hamstring Okay, release the hands, extend them forward, palms facing towards one another, floating that foot away from the ground, and then lift head and shoulders if you feel good. You're going to stay for a few breaths. The lower you go with the heel, the harder it is. Stay with it. And then gently release, re-bend the knee, hug it in towards you, crossing that left knee over to the right-hand side. Just make sure I don't crush my microphone. <laughs> and twisting. Gaze is towards the left-hand side to take this twist right up into the next spine. And then gently back through to center. Adjust yourself onto your mat. Make sure you're nice and long and even onto the mat. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Allow the feet to relax. Arms are just a little bit out from the body and the palms can be face up in a gesture of being responsive. Maybe gently tip your head from side to side until you find the perfect center point. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold at the top of the inhale for three, two, one. Take three small sips of air in. Hold. And then release. Allow every muscle to completely release, relax, and let go. Allow yourself to enjoy a sense of peace, quiet calm, stillness, the last few moments of our practice. Gently bend the knees. Tip yourself over onto your favorite side. Make a little pillow with your arm. And then use your top arm to press yourself all the way up through to seated. Okay, come back to that original position we found at the very start of the practice. Maybe the eyes are still closed. Just again, check in with how the breath is how the mind is now after your practice. Gather the palms to touch in front of the chest in a gesture of gratitude as you bow forward, thanking yourself for taking the time to 
make a little space in your life for something that is good for you. And I thank and honor you. And thank you so much for joining me in this practice. Namaste. May you have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.